Most people in America are some sort of salesman, and even though they don't believe it, and even though they may not like it, and even though they might not want to entreat it, it's true. What I mean by that is every day, every human being is selling themselves in some way. Now what I mean by that is every morning you wake up and you've got a partner, hopefully, that you love in life next to you. So in the morning you're selling yourself once again to that person that you love. Then you walk through the kitchen and find your children there, or your child there. And once again, you're selling yourself as the parent that loves and cares. Then you move yourself to get yourself cleaned up and take care of the loving you that you love yourself. So you put yourself together in your preferred fashion clothing, and sizing, and styling, and if you're a girl, possibly makeup, or not, depending if you have allergies or not, or if you're being old-fashioned or not, or if your religion prevents it or not and you put yourself together. In the case of men, we are going to groom our hair that may or may not be there, and we're going to groom our beards the way we like it, not the way you like it or prefer it. So help me with that. And of course, we move ourselves off to our work environment, the place in which we are employed, or the space in which we work and serve from. And in those moments of time, we are selling ourselves. We are selling ourselves to the person that we say hello to at the office. We are regaining their belief and trust in us. At that time, we might run into our boss, and at that moment of time, we have to behave ourselves, but not entreat ourselves to act like an idiot of ourselves in front of our supervisor who pays our salary and whatnot. We might run into people at the water cooler. We might run into people in the break room. We might run into people trying to use the microwave. But the bottom line is, each moment of time, we are selling ourselves to them. We are in creating relationships with them. And then throughout our day, we are doing our work. And during our work, we're selling ourselves, not necessarily to the work, but we're selling ourselves in terms of our performance and productivity within the hours that we work. We might also be selling ourselves to the vendors, or we might be the vendee that is selling ourselves to the companies that buy what we do. Or we might just be selling ourselves to a visitor in the office that some employee drops by with to introduce to you, or a new employee that's come on the board of the team that is going to be, well, produced with you. So when we talk about these things, we're talking about the fact that every day we sell ourselves. And then once again, as we head back home and we're talking on the phone with our friends, we're, we're decompressing from our day, we are selling ourselves to them in terms of how we feel, what we think, what we believe, and whether or not they like us or not is based on what they perceive and conceive. Now, we return to our house. We meet our kids, and we are reselling ourselves as their loving, caring mom. We sit down, we listen to them about school, we hear about what they're doing, we find out if they need help with their homework or not, we pray that they don't, because some of the shit is overhead at this time, and hopefully we don't necessarily care, but we don't always have the downtime to do it. Then once again, our spouse may come home, we interact with him or her, and we tell them something in the love zone, and then we produce a dinner, we sit down as a family, and we sell ourselves as a family of a group of people who love each other. Does this make sense? Or have I not convinced you that every day there is an opportunity to love and every day there's an opportunity to sell ourselves? But here's the problem that happens in America, that sometimes those people outside our core relationships taint our relationships with other people and taint our life before the Lord and taint everything and everything everything and everyone that we've ever wanted in our life for the Lord. The life of God, or the life plan that God gives to us in our calling can be impacted by the foundational relationships of our life and how we handle things and people and manage money and other things for our families is a great kind of result or productivity of that love. Now, maybe I'm getting slightly off, but maybe some of you are really getting what I'm trying to say, but every day and every minute and every moment of time with people, we have the open opportunity to somehow express through appropriate, age-appropriate, relationship-appropriate means the concept of love, the concept of peace, the concept of humor, the concept of laughter, the concept of praising the Lord, and the concept of what you and me know as selling ourselves. Selling yourself is important today. Selling yourself is what you do to get a job and keep a job and maintain a job and keep a salary and a shelter over your head and sustenance on your plate 
and surfaces in the world every day.